you're a fan of movies about the American frontier, then you've probably seen Clark Gable using one of these to kill his nemesis, Iron Shirt, in the 1951 Technicolor masterpiece Across the Wide Missouri. Or Robert Redford as Jeremiah Johnson declaring that he's looking for one in 50 caliber or better, but would settle for 30. I'm, of course, talking about the Hawkin rifle. There are a lot of people who are interested in Western history, and one of the bigger figures that you like to talk about when you look at people going out west, especially in the pre-Civil War period, is the Mountain Man. And the Mountain Man is a rugged guy, usually got a beard, usually pretty gruff, maybe drinks a lot and swears, and of course he's gotta have a big gun to go with his big ego, right? The Hawken rifles were these large, powerful rifles that were perfectly suited for the mountain men to take out west. There was the Hawken rifle. You'd never go in. There was a mountain man and his Hawken rifle. And, you know, it never let me down. And, blah, 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 and it became this big thing. Without it, we wouldn't have fur trappers or mountain men. And we definitely wouldn't have the movie Jeremiah Johnson a classic no matter what angle you look at it from. It was uh, really the, the, the right gun at the right time uh, in a very special place. It was supposed to protect. It was supposed to be a hunting tool. It was supposed to give the mountain man an overall multi-use weapon that could not only take down a bear, but could survive the Rocky Mountains. That's a pretty tall order, and the Hawken could do it all. <laughs> <laughs> 